All right, y'all ready? Here we go, five minutes. Ryan, I'm Ryan Jay. Uh, I work at Red Hat, and this is my uh, Reveal JS Presentation Hacks lightning talk. If you'd like to follow along, I have this horrible, ugly URL that you'll never catch in time because I'm already onto this next page. So Reveal JS. If you've never used it before, uh, I would definitely encourage you to check out the uh, the GitHub page. Um, there is a lot of great information available um, on Reveal. Uh, they have, ooh, scroll up to the top here. Uh, it's, it's a, let me briefly read the description. A framework for easily creating beautiful presentations in HTML. Um, it's all based on HTML5 and CSS. Um, so you can do really nice transitions. Uh, slide transitions. There is a really cool lab here that you can walk through. Uh, this is by the original author of Reveal.js. Um, my experiences with Reveal, I've been using it to make my presentations for about five years. Um, I've actually tried contributing to Reveal.js. I had a, a, some pull requests about trying to make it easier to host. Um, there's, I, I've seen some, uh, you know, feedback on, on some of the pull requests. Here's one example. Someone was trying to add a Docker file. And they were like, well, I don't know if we want to be opinionated about how to host this. And so pull, shut this one down. I think um, <laughs> part of the motivation on this is uh, there's a really nice GUI editor for Reveal.js only available on slid.es. So if you want a really nice editor, definitely go there. Um, I take a slightly different approach because uh, I don't know, I don't believe that site is open source or, or hostable. Um, but Reveal.js is static HTML, so anyone can host it really easily on GitHub pages or in an S3 bucket. Uh, it also has a really nice PDF export option if you add this query to the page it will uh, step through all the fragment transitions and, and try to show the final version of each of your slides. And then you can just do control P and set it to landscape mode, say, I don't want any margins, print the background graphics, that type of stuff, and you have a, and then just print a file. So you have a really nice set of features here for working in HTML, all in open source, uh, except for the editor is one, one thing that I've wanted to, to expand on, right? Uh, so my needs as a presenter, I need, slides need to be easy to create, they need to be easy to share, and I need some kind of metrics collection. So one day I was at a hackathon uh, with uh, Frederick uh, Kautz, I don't know if he's here this week, but uh, we were, uh, it was the first Docker hackathon and we were thinking what if slides were forkable and revision controlled? So we came up with this project called uh, Just Reveal It. Uh, it has a <laughs> Docker file, and it has all the hacks and um, pull requests that I've been kind of maintaining on my own. So if you're interested in having your slides be stored in a GitHub Gist, then I invite you to fork this talk right here. You can visit this URL in the page or click on the presentation sources link and open this up. This will open up a gist. Since I'm already logged in as myself, I can't fork this particular deck, but any of you can go and click the fork button and make changes. Um, then you would take your resulting gist ID like this and paste it into your browser at the end of the just reveal it URL. Um, individual pages are also linkable. You could give them uh, names as well. Um, so I've also broken out the uh, style sheets for this. So even the themes and themselves can be stored in a gist. So I can switch this whole style sheet to look like uh, when I was doing slides at OpenShift, right? Um, you can also add some nice friendly URLs. So I'm going to do a quick demo if I have time here. I'm going to open up bitly.com. I'm going to create a bit link with this long ugly URL and I'm going to change this to auto reveal and save this link and copy it. I'm going to go back to my slides. Here's the sources 
and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna update the leading page so that it has a much nicer, more shareable URL. And this is how I, this is how I edit my talks, is right on GitHub. Uh, I can never lose my data because it's always backed up and revision controlled. Uh, and let me add in, just for good measure, a question mark right here, okay. So that's some changes to my slides. If I go back to the, if I reload and go back to the lead page, you should be able to see, now I've got an update with the nice shorter URL. Uh, uh, okay, but let's, let's fix this part up here. We still have this ugly path up here. I set up a URL shortener, so if I go to this address, and reload, now we've got our nice, short, linkable, clean URL up top. Um, you can fork and share your decks. Uh, if you want to run this whole thing on Kubernetes in a single command, bam, this is how you host the whole thing. I'm currently hosting all of my slides in a container on Kubernetes using a fully open source stack and I encourage you to steal my tricks, steal my slides. I have a, a lot of uh, pre-made talks about how to learn Kubernetes, and these are all forkable, easy for you to uh, steal and reuse at meetups. Uh, that is it for me. Thank you very much. May the source be with you. <laughs>